Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making easy pizza. Yes, that's right, in the chilly man's kitchen. Oh, chilly man. <laughs> <laughs> Today we've got 500 grams of self-raising flour. There's no yeast in this. This is an easy pizza and 250 mils of water. Might need a little bit more. We'll pour it in and mix it into a dough so we get it into a ball that we can knead. So are you ready? You ready to start stirring? Ready? Use a long, use, use that little end of the spoon. Then it's easy to stir it and I'll pour the water in. You ready? Go. Boom. That's it. Just keep stirring and stirring and stirring until it goes thick. That's it. It's doing very well. Right, we're going to put some salt into the mix. About a pinch of salt should do it. Right, we've got the dough into a ball and now we're going to knead it into a nice elastic kind of consistency. So we've just got to keep pushing down on it, sweetheart. Are you ready? Go for it. That's it. Push hard. Again. That's it. Now let's move it over. Ready, have a quick go. You have a go. That's it again. Brilliant. Right, we've got the dough into a nice consistency now, so we're going to put it on the worktop and just work it a little bit and knead it some more on there. So if you put flour on the worktop, sweetheart, here, yeah, that's it, more, 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 that's it, swish it about, that's it, there you go. Right, we've got the dough on the worktop, we're now going to work it like this until it springs back, it's nice and springy, so can you keep pushing on it, Francesca, that's it. Keep going and then turn it over, push it a bit more, that's it, brilliant. Hello, right, we've got the pizza into kind of in an oblong kind of shape here now. What we're going to do is we're going to chop it up into pieces so we can roll it into pizza. So, we'll cut one for you Francesca, about that size. One for mummy and daddy, another for mummy and daddy, and one for Charlotte, okay? Right, we've cut the pizza dough. If you can now take the pizza dough, Francesca, put some flour on there. Swish it about. And take, your take your pizza. Take your pizza dough, Francesca. Shove it in the middle. And squish it down. That's it. Harder. 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 That's it. Brilliant. Oh, yeah, give me a quick hand. And then roll it out with the rolling pin. Okay? That's it, go on, push on hard. That's it, and back again. We pre greased the tray with uh, its rapeseed oil on this one, it does well at high temperatures. We're now going to put the pizza on the tray, Francesca. You lift it, I'll shift it. There you go. Good one. And then we're ready to make the sauce. The tomato sauce for the pizza has got two of olive oil, two of tomato puree, two of tomato ketchup, one of oregano and one of garlic. Okay, we're going to make the tomato sauce for the pizza. Dead simple. One tablespoon of oregano, two tablespoons of puree, it's two of each of these. Tip that in love. Tip, 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 tip. That's it. And again. Ready? Let's go. Okay. Whoops. Oops. <laughs> Alright. There we go. On the work top. Yeah, it's no problem. Alright. And again, two of tomato sauce. You ready? Hold it over the top. Tip it. And again. And two of olive oil. You ready? And again. Let's one more. That's it, and then mix it up. Now we're going to put the tomato sauce in. Oh, lovely. Swoosh it. That's it. Swoosh it. We need some more. Oh, yeah, more. You just keep going. That's it. All around the edges. Brilliant. Now we're going to decorate the pizza with cheese and sweet corn yeah. and a bit of salami. Ooh, nice. 
Are you going to put your cheese on? Do you want me to help? Sweet corn. So pour them out. You're making a smiley face. We'll come back later. <laughs> now we're going to put the salami for rice. And that looks like a lovely pizza. High five. Woo! Go on. Straight into the oven uh, at maximum temperature. Oh, no. for 10 minutes. Pizza's ready! And it's time to take it out the oven. Okay, stand by. Woo. There we go. That's one hot oven, one smiley face. Mm. Pizza. Yum, yum. Should we chop it up? Mm, mm. Mm, thank you. While Francesca's pizza's been cooking, we've made two for Mummy and Daddy. So what we've got here is buffalo mozzarella, capers, olives, salami, and obviously the tomato sauce in there. Uh, these look absolutely delicious. These will cook in round about 10 minutes. After we've made the pizza, there's a little bit left over of the dough. We're gonna make a flatbread and I thought I'll try and make a dessert pizza. So we've rolled it out. I've put strawberry jam on and I've put caster sugar just around the outside. Hopefully the heat of the oven will caramelize that and give it a nice crisp edge. Oh. Right, the pizzas are ready. That's 10 minutes. Two pizzas, yummy yum! And our dessert pizza is going in. Experimental dessert pizza is going in. Right, we're going to see what the strawberry dessert pizza is like. It's crisped up round the edge, we'll see what that's like. Right, the strawberry dessert pizza. Mmm, looks delicious. Mmm. Oh, very nice. Mm. 